Hello, James here, and we're going to do some quick snippet videos. And this one is about uh, importing data uh, when given to you uh, by a friend, colleague, co racer, anyone along those lines. So I often get asked this question how do I get the data into uh, AIM, uh, into the uh, uh, race uh, studio analysis, so I can actually analyze the data? So it's very straightforward. Uh, there's an import test button that you can click on. It will give you the opportunity of going finding any uh, destination where that data may be housed and you can import it. But before we do that, one of the biggest mistakes that I used to make and many people do is the fact that they put data somewhere like their desktop or they import it from a USB chip. Then they take that USB uh, chip away or they clear their desktop and all of a sudden the data is no longer there. So the first piece of advice is very much along the lines of make sure your data is somewhere where it is permanently stored. So I'm going to open up um, my file explorer here and you can see that right now they're sitting on my desktop there here. Um, first thing to do is to make sure that that data is housed somewhere which is permanent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my C drive on Windows. You can see I already have a folder here called AIM Sport, which as I do a lot of data analysis is jam packed full of data from different places. I've created a folder here called AIM Video Folder and I'm going to select all of these files and bring them over. And so all of a sudden the files that you're going to import are now on a permanent location on your computer and that means that uh, they won't disappear uh, and make it difficult for you to reference the files again later in AIM. The second thing is we're on this page which is really important to have a look at is the fact that when you receive the data from someone who's sending it to you or you download it yourself, make sure you capture all the files. Many times people just send this file here because it's the one that's got the logo that looks like the AIM component and they think that's the file to send. It absolutely is the file to send, but if you want to make sure you've got all the configuration files as well, which makes sure all of the pertinent information about the track, the GPS, any information is relevant to that file, you need to ask them to send all of the files at the same time. Once you've done that, it's pretty straightforward from there. You go back to the AIM device, you click on Import Test, you find that location that you just set up. In my case, it's on this PC, so I just need to go and find my C drive, AIM Sport, the AIM video folder I set up. And even though I'm only clicking on this one, it will capture all the files, which will reference back to uh, as part of that location on the computer. And if I click on open, now that file has been brought in. You can see all the information that is there. You can make any notes that you want. This happens to be one of my files uh, that uh, I brought in here. I click on OK to all, and the information is now housed here. And now I've got that file, and I can open it and reference it and do whatever I need to. So uh, hopefully that's a useful information if you want to be able to import files and make sure they're always there uh, and they're always available for you to be able to catch up.